The Quest 3 just continues to blow my flipping mind, and in today's video we're going to be diving into Resist. This is a game that essentially turns you into a parkouring, spider-manning, jetpacking lunatic by the end of it, because this game gives you pretty much all the powers that you're going to want to get in a virtual reality game, but not just that, it also looks absolutely stunning. They've just done a massive graphical overhaul on the PC side of things, and now they've done a new graphical overhaul on the Quest 3 as well, giving us some of the most genuinely stunning graphics. Now this is also running at 90 hertz. now if you go into the experimental mode you're able to pick that and set it up to run at 90 hertz natively as well as looking flipping stunning inside the headset. This is just one of those experiences that just sets it apart so much so from all the other games that are on the quest at the moment. Things right now that have blown my mind is like Into the Radius and this. Those two things are just mind freaking boggling because they almost look as good as they do on PC. It is the closest I've experienced to PC VR without actually being on PC VR. Now I will say that this looks even better inside of the headset, so if I were you and you own this already, whack it on download on your Quest 3 right now. By the time you finish watching this video, it will be time for you to jump into the headset and check it out for yourself. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Honestly, this is such an experience to jump back into. Already such a good game as it has a full campaign and a bunch of cool things going on for it. But on top of that, it just looks freaking mind-blowing at the moment. So massive props to the team for making this happen. Without further ado, let's jump into some gameplay, shall we? Welcome to Resist. Oh my god. So I again, in a similar vein to the video I did the other day on Into the Radius, jumped into this just to check out what the upgrade was like and, well, Look at this. This is running at 90 hertz, and it is running at an incredible look. It just, it's insane. This is pretty much, pretty much identical to what the PC version of this looks like, bar some very, very small differences. This is nuttier than Squirrel Duty. Look at this. This is running on the Quest 3, you know? This game already looked phenomenal on the Quest 2, but look at this, look at this. Just look at this. The shine, the glare, the movement, the the freaking frame rate. The draw distance is massive. The skybox looks insane compared to what it used to. It's just it's just so good. Oh hello there little drone boy. Oh. Mate, no, no! Oh yes! And this this is what this game is all about. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> this is why people say this game makes you feel like freaking Spider-Man. Uh oh, oh god, I hit my face. Ah! Because literally, there is nothing else more like it out there. Oh my god, I flipping love this game. <sighs> Even while recording, this still runs like absolute butter. And if you just check out all these reflections coming past me, it's madness. Like, oh, hello. <laughs> it's actually madness that this, this is on a freaking standalone headset, you know? All right, well, open up for me, baby. Upgrade. <gasps> oh yeah, not only are you Spider-Man in this game, but you also have guns. Look at those. Boom, boom. You're dead now, sucker. Oh my god, I am just the best. Except when I'm not the best. Oh my god. I bloody love this game. Go around. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, it just feels so damn good. Hey, will you two shut the hell up because I'm trying to make a video over here and I don't care about the story right now because... Oh. <laughs> because this is so good. Now, there is normally voice acting that comes through all this part, but I've just turned it off because honestly, I just kind of wanted to swing so I could show you guys like 
why this game is so dope. This does actually have like a huge campaign in it. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be story based as well as just dope as heck to play, then high recommendations from this. But I just wanted to be able to swing around and show you a little bit of this. Then we're gonna do a couple of objectives. Oh my God. And it just, it flows like butter, dude. The thing is like, this is pretty much a one for one of what's on the PC. Now, I feel like there's going to be people who will be like, oh, it's not exactly the same. And I'm sure there are like some very minor differences. But honestly, this is, this is nuts. That this is running natively on a standalone headset, Quest 3. And honestly, it gets me excited because this is the, what we're looking at. We're looking at a very small glimpse of the future of what standalone is going to be. Like rocking a mid-tier PC on your face. Whoosh. Nice. Now, does that mean we're going to get Half-Life Alex on, <laughs> on his standalone? Do you know what? At this point, I kind of feel like maybe it could happen. Not going to, because that game's just not going to come across. But I kind of feel like the possibility of something running that looks like that, though, is actually kind of possible in the weirdest of ways. Oh, also, you can unlock a bunch of stuff in the skill tree, including time dilation, so that you can slow down time, Give you enough of a chance to get to where you want it to be and zippity freaking doodle oh. <laughs> dang dude this is so freaking cool i'm i'm just in awe right now of the power of the freaking quest 3 it's just blowing me away and the thing is like everything looks blinking nice anyway just because of the fact that you have these beautiful lenses beautiful screens Whoa. Oh man, that was like, I was like desperately trying to talk, but also experiencing insane things. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a freaking dope experience, I really highly recommend that you come and check this one out because it's just, it's just good. You know, in the same way that I showed off Into the Radius the other day is the same reason I'm showing this one off today. It's not because, it's not because these are brand new games, but it's because these are utilizing some of the tech that's inside of the Quest. Uh, three so it's kind of just a great highlight and I know that a lot of people are bummed out about there not being necessarily <laughs> um, bummed out that there's not necessarily freaking quest exclusive titles but with this you can fall down a building like an idiot Ooh. I know a lot of people are bummed out about there not being ex quest exclusive titles so, you know, it kind of makes sense that we can check out the things that definitely utilize the most out of these things. Well, that's gonna pretty much do us for this video. Only a short one today. I just wanted to show off like just how good this all looks. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. What the hell? Where did I even get that from? Oh, there. <laughs> Googly boogly. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and I'll catch you in the next video. If you wanna keep seeing these comparison videos where you get to actually see what this quest 3 version looks like in all of its true actual glory then please do continue to hit me up in the comments down below egging me on to do these kind of videos you know and then i'll i'll, I'll do them <laughs>